Hi everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video talking all about my favorite um, hair products and skincare products, good stuff like that because I don't know if you can tell, if you haven't noticed already, I actually put some highlights in my hair. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can. I'm gonna insert some pictures just so you can see maybe so it'll be clearer. I just wanted to try something different for the school year. Going into my senior year, I thought I'd do something fun because I've never done anything to my hair, like dyed it or anything. I really wanted to talk about some hair care products that I have been using now, now that I've done some stuff to my hair. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and maybe you want to try some of these products that I talk about. And also, um, let me know what your favorite skincare and hair care products are. And I guess we'll get started. Whoa. Okay, so first off, I use shampoo and conditioner, obviously. Um, this is the Red Ken um, Color Extend Magnetics. Uh, shampoo and conditioner, gentle color captivating care for color treated hair, that rhymed. I've been really nervous that the color is going to fade a little bit and then I'll just have these like bright blonde like bleached streaks in my hair. So that makes me really nervous so I really want to extend the color for as long as I can. So this helps with that. But it is a little pricey, it is Red Ken but um, when it comes to hair I do want to splurge a little bit because I feel like taking care of your hair is important as well as your skin. I just want to have nice healthy hair. So this is great. It makes my hair so soft. So silky, so soft. Got my um, iced mocha, whatever. <laughs> it's really good. Shoot. Alright, so next hair care product is another shampoo and conditioner that I do enjoy and this one is actually a lot um, less expensive than the Red Ken one and this is the OGX um, Heavenly Hydration Plus Cherry Blossom Shampoo and Conditioner, how fancy. This smells so good. All the um, OGX hair products are safe for color treated hair. I think um, with an exception of one of them. Yeah, I just wanted something that had like hydration, moisture in it kind of thing because um, when you bleach your hair and dye it and stuff um, it can get affected by that and make it super dry and I don't want that. I don't like using the same stuff over and over again um, but those two are like my favorite for when I wash my hair and whatnot. So next I have this uh, Batiste dry shampoo and this is for deep to um, dark brown hair. It's not um, white like it's actually tinted to be brown so that when you put it in your hair it's not gonna leave like that white cast and make it look like you've got like a bunch of powder in your hair. I tend to have that problem because my hair is darker so it's nice that this is colored. You just put it in your roots, cleans it up and it gives it volume and texture sort of and I really like this if I feel like my hair feels like really drab. <laughs> I think this is my final hair product um, to show you guys but this is the Tresemme um, Thermal Creations a curl activator spray and it creates and holds curls. It works with heat appliances. I accidentally bought this a while ago and I realized that this was like curl activating and I was like what the heck but it's actually really nice because what this does is when you spray it in your hair it kind of creates like more texture in your hair and for me it's really hard for my hair to hold a curl. When there's more texture like in my hair it holds a curl better and with all that it definitely helps um, to protect my hair from the heat also. So on to skincare. I've been loving this like chapstick. <laughs> you probably are like, why are you showing me chapstick? This is for skincare. But I mean, your lips, are, they are skin, so you need to take care of them. This is the Hawaiian Tropics Lip Balm, and it has SPF 45. It's the tropical flavor. It smells really nice. Actually, not really. It just kind of smells like sunscreen or like something beachy and stuff. Also, for lip balm, I really do like this Jack Black, um, what is this called? But it has natural mint and shea butter in it, and I like how it's a little squeeze tube, um, so then you don't have to like dip your finger into a pot and like put it on your lips. This is just nice. You just squeeze it right. Nice. So then I use an eye cream, and this is not necessarily something that's like for, to prevent wrinkles or anti-aging or whatever. This is just an eye cream that says it's clinically proven to moisturize the delicate eye area without causing redness or irritation. Helps reduce the appearance of under eye puffiness. I just wanted an eye cream that would moisturize under my eyes because especially during the winter and fall when it gets colder 
my under eyes get dry and it's not cute at all. So as for moisturizer, I use the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer for acne prone skin and it has SPF 30 in it. This was recommended to me by my dermatologist a long time ago and it's the only thing I've been using like ever since as moisturizer. I have very sensitive skin so um, I always have to get stuff that's hypoallergenic or oil free. In my skincare video a long time ago, I had this comedogenic acne stuff which um, basically comes from I guess clogged pores when you have like so much oil or something. I don't know, it sounds really gross, but um, they gave me medicine for that to put on my face and it helped a lot. So I don't really use it anymore because I don't have that problem as much anymore because I've been using stuff that is oil free on my skin, which I highly recommend. And then I use the matching um, foam wash for when I wash my face. This is the only cleanser that I use and that I trust just because, again, sensitive skin. I don't need like a bunch of random different products to use like on my skin, I feel like. This just gets the job done. Um, after, of course, I like take off my makeup, which I'll show you in a second. Just foams and cleans my skin. And yeah. Oh. With that, I use a Clarisonic, and this is just the Clarisonic Mia 1, and it's really nice, and it just kind of scrub-dub-dubs my skin. <laughs> so I use that. Sometimes I'm so lazy that I just use my hands when I use my foaming wash, but um, I try to use my Clarisonic often so it can get all the stuff out. When I remove my makeup, I use two products. First one being uh, the Simple Sensitive Skin Makeup. Um, cleansing, remover, wipe. I used to use the Neutrogena ones, but I felt like the Neutrogena ones were not as um, moist, I guess. They felt drier, but these actually feel like they're um, taking off my makeup. I don't feel like I'm scrubbing my skin when I use it. really need to buy some more. Then for the eyes, I have really sensitive eyes and I don't want to use like makeup wipes on my eyelids because it freaks me out because I had a bad experience when I used like baby wipes or something on my skin. I used it on my eyes and they would like puff up super badly and I looked like a dragon. It was not cute. So I used separate makeup remover for my eyes and it's just the Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover. Ah, oh my gosh, it almost fell. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see any other videos like this, um, maybe like a skincare routine, hair care routine, I don't really know, um, or just any other videos in general that you guys would like to see, please comment them down below and give this video a like if you enjoyed, and definitely go check out my previous videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye! We can work it out, you and I are meant to be together, this is how it's supposed to feel, I'm in love with how this feels.